Welcome to Military News YouTube channel. The frictions on the Ukrainian border continue with all their harshness. This week, the US military confirmed through satellite imagery and intelligence work that Russia has deployed more than 130,000 troops to the border. This created serious concerns in the North Atlantic Alliance, and contingency plans began to be put in place by the US leadership. Now the US is taking steps assuming that Russia will attempt to invade Ukraine. The US is keeping Abrams tanks and Bradley armored vehicles ready for the Ukrainian border, which can oppose Russian heavy tanks. In addition, the UK and the US have also shipped a large number of NLAW and Javelin ATGMs to the region. The Pentagon on Wednesday announced that it has approved the sending of 3,000 additional troops to Eastern Europe to protect members of the North Atlantic Alliance from aggression. Pentagon Press Secretary John F. Kirby said these deployments are in addition to Defense Secretary Lloyd J. Austin's orders for 8,500 soldiers to prepare for deployment. These troops are not involved in this movement. About 2,000 troops of the 82nd Airborne Division are being sent to Europe and Poland, and the 18th Airborne Corps carries a joint task force capable headquarters in Germany. Kirby said a 1,000-strong Army Striker Fleet will be deployed from Germany to Romania, joining about 900 U.S. service members already in that country. It is stated that the installation took place at the open invitation of the Romanian government. The first U.S. troops from the 18th Air Force Command have arrived in Germany, strengthening alliance allies in Eastern Europe and Germany as Russia builds up on the Ukrainian border, the U.S. military's European Command said on Friday. As of today, the troops set out for Romania via Germany. According to the official statements made by the Pentagon, more than 11,000 U.S. Special Forces troops in total have been deployed in Europe against Russia in the last week with the troops arriving in Europe and waiting at the ready. The next day in Poland, a local mayor announced the shipment to Poland and said that the incoming soldiers were from the 82nd Division of the U.S. Army. A spokesperson for the Polish military said that U.S. troops arrived in Poland on Saturday as part of the North Atlantic Alliance's moves to send extra troops amid fears that Russia might invade Ukraine. The first group has arrived at the airport in Jesionka, in southwestern Poland, Major Shemislav Lipchinski said, adding that the bulk of the 1,700 U.S. troops will arrive soon. Western capitals accused Russia of recruiting more than 100,000 troops to pro-Western Ukraine's borders in preparation for invasion and promised to impose devastating sanctions if it attacked Moscow.